all of my soldiers, I miss them. I steady find them, a pen and a dime. This baby girl, damn it, my issue. How you caught up in your feelings? Baby girl, you know this shit wasn't official. My killer's itching to solve any issue. I get a low story, I like a um. I get a low. I'd even pack for a 13 day trip, bro. Like, you clearly see I'm, I'm having a tough time here. I just told myself this that, like, these next 13 days, then you have six games on the road. My face are gonna be super chill. We got playoffs coming up. And playoffs, I gotta step every single game. Can't lag a game. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling now. Do a little light shopping here. Keep stuff on the low. Pop out with some crazy fits. I think that's a I think that's the move. Gonna be a lot of cargoes, a lot of chill stuff, you know? For this trip. I get a low I get a low We got a visitor. Nix came to join to figure out the fits of the day. Definitely the, the next morning. And I love that I could really stuff my bag because there's no like weighing restrictions. You feel me? I'm gonna really be on my content ship this trip. 13 days. I'm bringing my camera bag. That's how you know. I'm gonna get some great, some great scenes this trip. Just wait and see. Oh shit. Woo. For 13 days, I don't think this is bad. It could be a lot worse, I ain't gonna lie. I'm here, man. I'm here in Detroit. Welcome to another week in the life. I feel like this would be a perfect time to do a week in the life because I'm on the road. Last one was at home. This one's on the road. You know what I'm saying? We got 12 days, six games, Detroit, Chicago, Atlanta, Atlanta, New Orleans, Charlotte. All within the span, bro, of 12 days. My um, workspace for the, for the day. I feel like this is what I should do. I feel like I should show y'all every single hotel room I stay in. Let's do that. So, I'm staying at that, the Hamilton in Detroit. Never heard of this hotel. But this is my room. This is my room. This is my bed. Feel me? Um, we got this right here. Just some regular, you know, regular hotel stuff. TV right there. Um, this is where I'm going to be working. Computer there. Doing all my stuff that I got to do. It's the front walkway. There's me. Big wrist. And the bathroom. You know, I'm a sucker for a good hotel bathroom. I can't even lie. This how I rock it right here. Not too bad. The, the print on the wall is a little interesting. Shower. You know? Not too, uh, not too bad. Nothing need to cut. My boy Taryn's in town. So I'm about to go get a cut. Got to find a way over to Taryn to get a cut finally because I'm looking real. Uh, I'm looking real crazy, man. It's not. It's not giving right now. But it's okay. Let's go. Let's go see Taryn. <laughs> There's no way, right? There, there's no way. Look at this. 
Like, this is fake news. There's no way. What? It's, um, it's snowing, bro. What are we doing? What? What, you, what are you talking about? Why is it? What month are we in? Did, I, did we time travel back? Like, is this, is this regular in Detroit? Like, whoa. I am utterly confused. I don't even have an outfit for this weather. I guess we'll figure it out. Ash. We got to film at 12.15. It's 11.30. Let's go get ready for that, bro. Because this is, uh, I just, waking up to this is absurd. Great day, y'all. It's a great day. Future Metro Woman, I'll rock with that. Future's in, in my category of rappers where, like, when they drop, I don't need to hear a song. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a complete download, like, immediate downloads. Like, Future, Drake, Cole, Auntie Lil Uzi. It was Lil Dirk, or Lil Baby. They've kind of been fucking up lately. But other than that, if Future drops, bro, immediate download. Don't need to hear a song. <laughs> nah. <laughs> in the morning. Me, my smoothie. It's literally snowing harder than it was before. Like, I just got back to my room and I'm pissed, bro. Alright, it's 1 o'clock. Just got back to my room. The first bus is at 3.45, hopefully. We'll lock in for like an hour, edit, order some food, and then go through my suitcase and find something to wear in the blizzard outside in Narnia. <laughs> I'm about to lock in, y'all. Real quick, real quick. <laughs> It's snowing outside, so luckily I put all the stuff, this big jacket, in my bag, and these pants, and the butters, luckily. So, I'm definitely fitting the weather outside, which is a good thing. Alright, now it's time to head to the game, and yeah, I'll catch y'all in Chicago. Porzingis hunts out the mismatch in transition. They scramble, lead to an NBA and threes made an attempt at per game. But I preset what a cut and a two hand stop. It is 1 a.m. We just got to the hotel room here in Chicago, man. You see, I'm still fitted. And what I wore to today's game. Great fit, might I add. And we just landed here. You feel me? I told you I'm gonna give you a room tour of every room. So it's the bathroom. You know, not too brazy. Shower. Not bad, not bad. Come out here. Over here, the bed. It was a little small. Smaller. Not bad. Wait for them to bring my other bags up. And this is my view for the night, or for the next two nights. Super high up, 39th floor. We got these sleep things that they give us, and I've never taken it before, but I'm going to try it. What do you think it says? Some sleep? Some sleep? It's like S, a moon, and an M. Some sleep? Some? Some sleep. The game was cool. Detroit, man, they play so damn fast, bro. 
And I like playing fast. I like when we get up and down, but dang. It was all game. They didn't want to slow down. But good game. Everybody did their thing. Shout out that boy Payne Pritchard. He's been going nuts lately. And just, yeah, man. Honestly, I can't even give my full review and stuff of the game right now because the boy is tired. It's actually 124. So you know what that means. That means it's time to go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I got time to stay up and do all that other stuff. As I would if I was home, we have a game tomorrow. I'm about to um, knock out. So, calling it. Catch y'all tomorrow, man. Morning. Good freaking morning. Seven thirty is still good morning, and I'm praying for starving. I'm praying that the breakfast doesn't stop at ten thirty because for some reason, usually breakfast stops at ten thirty. Never mind, it's not even ringing. I had to plug it out last night because I need to charge my phone. I wonder if that's the problem. <laughs> well, that's not working. Um... I just don't want to go downstairs, bro. <sighs> oh, man. Bus is not until the same time, 3.45. So I got about four hours. <sighs> I just want to let y'all know. This future and Metro Boomin album is the album of the year. I saw someone say like Kendrick's verse is taking over the whole album, and that's facts. People are focused on that, which is nuts. But fam, the whole album, top to bottom. And I don't, I like Future, but I can't really do a, like a full album of him because you know he gets repetitive. He says the same thing. Like, like, in the same song, he just repeats the same thing. Like, he'll be like, popping a zanny, popping a zanny, popping a zanny, popping a zanny, zanny, popping, zanny, popping, because I'm popping a zanny, popping. You know what I'm saying? And that's the start of the song. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, I can't hear that, bro. But he was really rapping. Really rapping on this. Album of the year until J. Cole drops. Cause we already know um the fall off is coming or whatever he's calling it. Until J. Cole drops album of the year. Drake's not dropping this year, as we may know, who knows? But if he drops, <laughs> you know what I mean? But look at this bro, this big ass pimple. Like I need a I need a skincare routine. That's what I need. If anyone in the comment section has a good skincare routine, like hit your boy up or any companies maybe want to send me some products, I can do that. Let me get my morning started by bumping this album. Change of plans, ladies and gentlemen. I love my toothbrush. In wherever, wherever I was yesterday. Now I gotta walk outside and go to Walgreens five minutes away to buy a toothbrush. And I love that toothbrush. It was the electric one, you know what I'm saying? Had it for a long time. I'll just change out the little things on top. So I guess we're gonna go buy a toothbrush right now. That's how we're starting our morning. Walking to Walgreens. Now I gotta talk to people like this. Thank you.
You got nothing to say? All right, if I was a toothbrush, I would not be in the card section. I'd be right here. That's the one. Those right there. That one right there. But of course, there's no one here to help. $69, bro. That's fucking ridiculous. It's okay. Now they change the locks. So, she'll be back. Bag secured. I am not. Yes, please. We're back like we never left. Okay. Oral B. This will solve all your problems for all you people out there that your breath stink. This is the one for you. Toothpaste, arm and hammer. It's the only way to go. You know what I'm saying? The baking soda cleans all the nastiness that happens and builds up in our mouths when we're sleeping. You know how many times I've bought this damn toothbrush, bro? Because of the same reason. Leaving it in hotels. So our toothbrush is charging. Open up this little guy. All right, now for my favorite part of the day, as we all know, getting fitted. You know, I told you guys I'm going for more chill stuff, right? So this is stuff that I've already worn, but worn differently. That's why. That's how I shop. I get stuff where I can wear it a whole bunch, but make different looks out of it. So start with the shoes. Shoes we got Union ones. Out of all the Jordan ones. They're our top seven pair right here. It's the top seven pair of Jordan 1. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I don't make the rules, people. I just put that shit on. Oh, we'll do the blue, blue hat. We kill the hype. Pretty fire, you know? Then, you know, I know I've worn this before, but whatever. White crop Bottega T with a square neck. Shout out Bottega. Blue washed kind of dad pants. The straight. Straight blue jeans, none too brazy. Bottega as well, by the way, Bottega. Padded blue Bottega jacket. On top of that, dark green Bottega belt. It's a lot of Bottega going on. Love the brand. That is <sighs> the fit for the day. So I'm about to put this all on. I got 20 minutes on the dot. First bus at 345. Got a whole bunch of time. I'm about to put it on so I'm not rushing and, and running out of here by the time I'm done. Yeah, I'm about to bump this this future, put that on, tap it with you guys before I leave, and then hit the road. So yeah, BRB. All right, this whole fit completely on. Love Canadian tux action. Different shades of blue though. Hold on, got this hat. Yeah, I'm not a big baseball fan. I don't even know what team this is. I think it's Boston. I hope it's Boston. About to go ahead and walk downstairs. Y'all rock with it? How you feeling? Cause I rock with it. With the band Cleef and my Rollies, my Rolex, my one, my baby. Gotta get a dub here in Chicago. So I'm gonna catch y'all, ladies and gents, tomorrow really. Peace out, suckers. Week in the life. According to opponent win percent, Tillman no. He's going to handle the ball. Oh, oh Cornette with a wraparound pass for Terry, who had 23 of those points. Cornette swings it for a second. Rattles home. Hey, yo, Ren, turn that up. Turn that up. Okay, we'll get me watching.
Kate Vaughn, the one and the only. So this is the room on the walk-in, so you know I'm not playing. This is the bed. Um, whole bunch of waters, which I'm a big fan of. Nice little lounge area that um, I'm going to be laying on. So some reason I like laying on the on the couches more than anything. Nice huge TV right here. Not too shabby. The fit, airplane fit. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Head over to the bathroom. Pretty these, pretty these. Not too crazy. And big bridge right here. So yeah, man, we're in Atlanta. And this is gonna be home for shit. Five days, bro. Five days in here, so I'm about to get comfortable. Put my clothes in the drawers. Nah, I'm playing. Honestly, I might. I lie. Put my clothes in the drawers, bro. Cause I'm here for five days. Forgot to show my view. Here's the view. Not bad. You know, I love a good skyline. What the hell are they doing down there? I always wonder what's going on in these places. Like a big patch of dirt. The view's not bad. I ain't mad at it. Drone view is going to go crazy. And I feel like I could walk outside and just put the drone down because there's nobody. It's like a little little area right there. I could probably put the drone down. Shit, we got five days. We're, we're going to figure it out. I ain't going to lie. The little candies that they have always get crushed. Uh, these are, uh, I think, Sour Patch Kids. These, M&M's. Shit, even the peanuts get mashed up. Good morning, my people. It is Tuesday, March 26th, 11.35. The day after game day. Um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I didn't pick up the camera yesterday. And I apologize. I really do. You know, uh, especially because this is, a, this is a week in life I'm supposed to. But it was like, you know, kind of the same, same things that I always do, really. Um, wake up, shoot around, film, come back, lunch, nap, put a fit on. This is the fit, by the way. Um, these R13 pants that I had on were the Travis Scott's with a, a gallery, um, gallery flannel, gallery department flannel, and just plain black tee from Aloe comfortability over anything it is uh it's tuesday man and i had big plans big plans hopes and dreams bro of walking around and going out the forecast it's terrible it's raining it's not raining it just looks like it's about to pour rain and i checked for tomorrow tomorrow's supposed to be you know a better day but we got practice tomorrow so it's gonna have to be in the afternoon whatever whatever so yeah today might be indoors might read a little bit I um so I've been reading. You know what I'm saying? I picked up a book back at All-Star Break called Single on Purpose. Great book. Finished that. It's the first book I've read in like shit, I don't even know how long. Probably college, probably high school, no word of a lie. Then my older brother recommended this book, The Alchemist. He read it. And I started reading it yesterday. Finished this and then uh, honestly, I'm gonna try to see if I could really rack up books to read. Like I feel like I listen to music all the time. You know, I'm always on my computer. I'm always doing the same thing. 
Like, I don't really feel like listening to music all the time, bro, because it's the same songs I listen to. So I feel like that's a little escape that I can have. But right now, nothing too crazy. I'm actually gonna edit this vlog right now. Or what, what, what I have from this vlog. I gotta pull some clips off of uh, my handy dandy A7C2. Right now, I'm recording on the ZV, my baby. But I did some of the vlog on this. I use two cameras, one for A roll, B roll. Sometimes I switch it up. And yeah, man. This is uh, it's a real week in the life. So, obviously, might be a little longer video because one, I'm yapping, been yapping for about two minutes now. But this is what I do, especially, you know, it's not bad, especially a day where I could really be inside, bump my music, edit, you know? Still learning so much about cameras, so much about, you know, the file, the formatting of everything, like there's so much that I need to learn, so much that I am learning. So this is like a real like a real challenge in itself, bro. But I love it. I love it. Thank you. All that editing made me hungry. Had to get Gus's chicken. I've only ever had Gus's chicken when we play Memphis. I didn't know they had one out here. I'm about to crush this. First, let me show y'all what I got. Got the three piece dark, dark meat, fries, mac and cheese. Ooh, wee. This type of plate where you really need privacy, like. I really need to be alone. I'm alone right now, bro. Y'all can't watch me right now, bro. I might crush it, I might go crazy. Follow YouTube. Watch one of my favorite creators. Ron Doug. Out to him. Hour long vlog. That's so tough. I'm about to tap in right now while I crush my food. So, peace out. Yeah. We'll the vlog. You know what it is. About to see the dog show up. About to see the dog show up. G League alum? Yeah. G League alum? Last year. G League alum? Seven games. Seven games. G League, G League alum. G League alum. First ever game with G League this year. What is it actually? Main Celtics 30 points. Dubs. I've been watching, you know I love watching the game with Coach Van Gundy and I got Coach Briss. Oh shit! <laughs> this dude's a king. Hot coffee! <laughs> you get for leaving me with your camera. That's what you get. Wait, is that a... Rizzy Files. Yeah, Rizzy Files. Rizzy Files. See, look, Rizzy Files. Oh, this is for the Rizzy Files. Oh, I'm out of Oh, the vlog is back. back what do we got to say for is the Rizzy Files? Rizzy Files. Rizzy Files. Rizzy Files. Wait, where's all his All his memory is gone. I'm using all this. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. What you got to say? I don't know what I'm gonna say. You know, well, we just we just we just left the game. the game. Game was fire. Neem and Jaden went crazy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Jaden had like 26. Neem had a mean double double. Yep. It was like you know, man hooping with boys. So mm -hmm. regular degular schmegula. Yeah. You know, nothing new. Wait, I'm pretty sure if you okay, watch this. So if you flip the screen, you can like to see yourself.
every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. Every good. time I try to call, uh, something keeps uh, telling me that, me that. Everything lot of don't building. be alright. Uh, uh, every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need so, you so in my life. Uh, it was meant to be. Uh, uh, Y'all know what this is. Me, what? So that means we gotta oh, make it work. It was work. all good at first. Ooh. Spending money, going shopping, eating at the finest restaurants, and if I'm good. We back, man. Back in the crib after a good practice, long practice. Honestly, bro, like we don't. We don't practice. Like, we got shoot rounds, optional shoot rounds. And so, because we play so many games, like, they give that time for us to maybe rest or go in and get shots up if we want to get shots up. Today was like our first full mandatory practice in I don't even know how long. I pack my stuff up, take a shower, go get some food, and. Walk around, do what I do. There was a park that I saw. Um, park that I saw that we drive by that Al. So Al's from here. Al told me to go to that uh, to that park. So I'm going to go over there and just chill outside. You know, go get some food, relax, enjoy the weather. Because it's really nice outside. Game day tomorrow. So, you know, we're looking to really relax today. Yesterday was a cool day. Also, another chill day. I really just edited, bro. Like, it was raining outside, so I was indoors really editing. Um, trying to learn different techniques for videos. There's a couple of guys I like to watch um, and try to put my own spin on some of the tex techniques that they use for their videos. And that's what I was doing yesterday. All day, bro, I was sitting right there on my computer, locking in, bro. I'm watching After Effects tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials, Photoshop tutorials, bro. Just trying to learn as much as I can to make my videos more interesting for y'all. But yeah, man, today is Wednesday, March 27th, March 27th, and 1.45, we still got a whole bunch of time left in the day, so let's go make the most of it. The boy was craving Chick-fil-A, so Chick-fil-A is where I'm going, and it's right up there, so on our way. Beautiful day outside. Thank God. So yesterday it was gray and gloomy. Today it's nice and sunny. So Chick-fil-A is about to go. High scene Sprite mix is the best mix at Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. You all know Chick-fil-A is the best when it's hot. About to eat it here, of course. Eight nuggets? Not really what not really their sandwich guy anymore. More of the nuggets guy. Chick-fil-A sauce only. Guys, welcome to my hotel room. Come on, let me show you around. So this is our front entryway, um, designed by I don't know, but this is what you see when you first walk in. You know, I like these nice white walls here. Keep it real plain and simple. Don't need too much attracting you when you walk in because you want to walk in and get straight. Um, to the real show, which is the um, the bedroom and the and the bathroom, really nice stuff you got going on there. Um, have closet space over here. Um, could hang up my stuff. I'm only here for a day. Not even really a day, so I don't have anything hung up yet. But that's where I can do that. We got some more closet space over here. 
a nice big tall mirror. This is where I can get my fit pics off and let myself know that I am looking good for the day. Also have a nice ironing board so I can smoothen out my clothes. Now, let's go check out the bathroom. In the bathroom here, we have really nice, fine, marble finishing on, on all of our, our stuff here. The sink as well, which I'll show you in a second, the floor, which is really nice. Um, but over here is, is our toilet. Show you the toilet. Toilet right here to uh, satisfy any needs, bowel movements that you may have. Really nice toilet, it's floating. So you know, kind of let's keep stuff off the floor here. And um, I think this is one of the really nice ones. A little push button, flushing action. We don't have a little lever thing. Got you just push to flush here. Um, and I love that. So also in the shower, we have marble finishing on the walls back here. Nice, good looking shower head with the uh, handle shower as well. Yeah, very spacious in there. You know, I'm a tall guy, so the ceilings are really high. So this actually helps a lot um, when I do take my showers and when I want to uh, chill for the night. This is a great shower for me. Water gets really hot and, you know, keep the steam in there because this is also very hot, which is very beneficial. Very, very beneficial. Here's a tub that I will not be using. You know, usually I can't really fit in tubs. Um, this one's very spacious, very big, um, but not much to say about this because I won't be using set tub. But nonetheless, I like that it's in here because I have the option to, if need be. You know what I mean? Here we also have double sinks, which is great. You know, could uh, brush my teeth over there, wash my face over here if I ever want to do some, or I could wash my face here, brush my teeth there. You never know. But again, love the versatility of this bathroom for having two sinks for me to use. On to the bedroom. Welcome to the master bedroom. It's the only bedroom, but still master bedroom. Um, nice king bed. You know, like I mentioned before, I'm a tall guy, so I need the leg space to spread out and sleep all different ways how I want to. Um, we got two nightstands, so I can choose which side I want to sleep on. I usually sleep on the right side, um, so that's the side that is going to have all my stuff over there. But again, versatility of having two nightstands, okay? Also have a nice couch over there. It looks like a therapy couch, um, but cool for relaxing. You know, when you come in, you don't want to lay in your bed in your outside clothes. You go sit down right there which is great. This table right here is where I'm gonna get all my work done. You can see my laptop's already set up there. I was doing some editing earlier. Again, right next to the TV, so it's good I can put a game on, a movie, whatever I feel. I feel like this is the, the perfect area to do so. I also have charging ports, so I could charge my laptop, charge my phone, charge whatever I need, or you know my, my camera batteries, whatever I need right there, which is very convenient because it helps me stay on top of my work while editing all my stuff is on the charger and i don't have to worry about batteries dying so that is it man thank you guys for tapping in to my mtv hotel cribs i hope you guys really like it um this is one of my more uh favorite ones of the trip you know just because the bathroom room entrance is really cool i really like this hotel and the area is really nice outside as well um I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's game day tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to, uh, you know, Richie's Hotel Room. Early game. It's 1020. Does not call for going downstairs to get breakfast. Definitely calls for room service because I do not want to get out of bed. I was trying to connect to uh, room service. I got some pancakes um, and just like a they like scrambled eggs, like three scrambled eggs. <sighs> yeah, I really didn't feel like getting up. I honestly got up, put my sweats on, stuff, looked outside, I walked out the door, and I was like, nah, 
came back and laid back down. The first bus is at 12.45 and it is 10.25. I got my book right here that I'm about to read. And just chill. Yeah, that's the vibe for this morning. Good morning. March 30th. March flew by, though. It's literally almost April 1st. Pancake guy. More of a waffle guy. But these actually look kind of good. I like that the butter, first of all, has these little... Has a... Like Saints logo on it. I think it's gonna fire. I've never really been a, a, a pancake guy. More waffles. Belgian waffles, so good. Been on the road for so long, bro. Kind of ready to get home. Can't lie to you. We fly to um, Charlotte today after the game. The game's at four, which is a weird time. We have ever played at four. It's always like either early morning or like afternoon early afternoon or late four never played at four before we're here in new orleans yesterday didn't do much man just walked around a little bit um the weather was so nice like i literally did not want to stay in my room Obviously, I walk around all the time, but well, it was was really really good. So, yeah, me, and JT, and Emil just walked around, some food, chill, kick it. Saw like the Bourbon Street. I guess that's where like all the tourist people go, Mardi Gras, and whatever, whatever. That's what yesterday was when we landed. Now today's the game, then we leave. I tap in which one will be like, bro. Hi, this pasta thing right here. Wait a minute, let's see if we can leave. I'm getting real tired of packing and unpacking my things. That's why I said I'm ready to, ready to get back home. Living out of a suitcase for two weeks is ridiculous, bro. Gotta catch the bus in 20 minutes, so. Gotta keep packing. Right. Looking at the full fit. Super chill again. You know, pants that I really enjoy. Really rock with. ERD hoodie. No hat, even though I might slap a hat on. I don't feel like I got the right hat for this fit. Um, one of my favorite forces ever, the Tiffany. Tiffany A of once. I'm done now. It's now time to head out. Down to the bus. And I appreciate y'all. So that was today's fit. And yeah, we're about to continue today. Me, it's like I, I like switching it up. Just like, yeah. I'm gonna go yeah. for a certain amount of makes, but it's not like that. Okay, so like kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so close, it's like on your teeth. <laughs> oh, I turned this shit off. Uh, I think I just took a picture. Hey. This is maybe your last time. Running through my mind, cause I'm so curious. Yeah. Couple more shots and we out the door. Speed off in the coop, cause it's for a store. Can't wait till I pull in my driveway, girl. Can tell by now I want you.
one. Yeah, an artist. My oh, like exercise? Oh, exercise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you meant the whole day. No, no, no. There's no actually. How comfortable or just what? I don't know. I don't know what it is. All right, man, we're back here in Charlotte. Today is Monday, April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. And we're here, bro. It's the last day of this damn road trip. Thank God. Um, I'm going to talk more about what I did yesterday and the day before and blah, blah, blah. But I just finished lifting. And I forgot I, I didn't show you guys the room yet. I didn't do that. So let's go through that right now. This is the, this the front walkway, little entry. Have our, our drinks and alcohol there if we want to get crazy. So yeah, here's the bathroom. Nice little tub, again, told you I don't use. Shower, love this shower. Actually, every time we come to this hotel, I really enjoy the shower. The water pressure is OD. The shitter, right in there. And then dual sinks. One thing that I noticed when I got in here, and I'm smelling it now, is like, bro, it smells like someone was smoking a cigarette in here, which is the nastiest smell in the world. Like, it smells like it's in the towels. You know what I'm saying? Like, I noticed it when I got here two days ago. I called and changed my sheets, all type of shit, and it still smells like that. It smells like it's in the carpets or something. I don't know, but it stinks. This is my work area. It's pretty jam-packed because I was doing stuff, you know, I was eating, working, doing what I gotta do, editing video. Here's the bed, nice king-size bed, which we love. Um, a little therapy session chair, don't know what I'm gonna do that for. Other than that, that's just the room. We got this little closet space, closet area right here. It's like 11.30 right now. We got um, film at 12.30. I just finished lifting, so I'm about to go shower and catch up with y'all in a second. Up and packing now after a great nap. And honestly, bro, I'm one of those people like, at the end of a trip, everything is dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not worried about what I wore, what I didn't wear. Because I got some clothes in here that I didn't wear. But everything is dirty, bro. So folding. Just like that. I don't care. Everything's going in the washing machine when I get home. It's like a, just a brand new, like a full reset. You feel me? Because I'm not about to sit here and try to figure out what's what's clean and what's dirty. I'm really trying to figure out what I want to wear. I got two options though. Nothing crazy, but two options. So I'll go through those real quick. I feel like I got everything that I wanted to get on this trip, you know, showing you guys what I do, who I really am, you know, all types of stuff. I feel like you guys are able to see, like, a real in-depth version, you know? Like, it's a lot of film, a lot of travel, a lot of sleeping. Uh, a lot of workouts, you know, stuff like that. This is a super long video, bro. You guys let me know how you're feeling about this video. Like, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how you're feeling about the vid. If you guys are okay with the length. Honestly, I'm gonna figure out my fit problem right now. And this is the end of the video, bro. Appreciate everybody for tapping in. Um, the only content I'm gonna get for the rest of the day is with my like a baby. So enjoy these flicks that I take. And yeah, yo. Week in the life by Briss. Continue to check the socials. Brissy TV. Well, that's this. Um, Brissy Files. Old Brissy on TikTok. Gonna keep posting stuff for the rest of the year. And. Yeah, man. Hope everybody is blessed and enjoy the video. Keep tapping it, man. Love, 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 love.